Hold on to your wallets and your butts because a new in-game Animal Crossing store is linking to a new real-world collaboration. But don't worry, it's just a seaplane. And it looks like the end of the cardboard era for Nintendo as Labo is being shuttered. Plus, a much anticipated game from a popular franchise just leaked via the ratings board and it's probably coming to Switch pretty darn soon. Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. It's that feel-good Friday feeling like a feline on a little bit of freaky catnip. Hopefully, Good Morning, Mario is your catnip every weekday morning. Thanks so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button to show some love. This tea mug is hot, burning my fingers. And a lot of news is heating up, so we've got stuff to go over. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan to participate in this interesting linkage for Animal Crossing New Horizons, where they're putting a store on an island to help preview a real world store where you can buy new clothes. But first, I wanna tell you about two quick hitters. One being, Labo is donezo, or at least it seems so because Nintendo has taken down the website. Now, I thought Labo was a pretty fun way to bring Lego-like building elements to Nintendo Switch. Is it the best game? No. Is it overpriced? Possibly. But crafting that cardboard was pretty cool, at least the first or the second time. And I think it's a really unique and interesting way to spend a couple hours with a younger sibling, with a child, or even with your significant other. Like, building that stuff is pretty fun and it takes some dexterity. Like, I really enjoyed seeing the guide pop up on the Switch and making it happen even if I rarely played the games. But now that the website's gone, it seems like Labo is going to be a thing of the past, and it makes sense. It wasn't the biggest seller. They got through a number of kits, so uh, pour out a little tea for Labo. It was a pretty neat idea. Now let's make like a monkey over to this next story, which is that Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania was just spotted on a ratings board in Australia. And if you've been following the channel, for any length of time, you know that these ratings boards end up leaking a lot of games because if a company submits a game to the ratings board, it's pretty much official. And we've known that Sega has been rumored to work on a new Monkey Ball for a while now. They did bring a Banana Blitz HD to Nintendo Switch, which I didn't love. I don't know if my memory of Monkey Ball is just stuck in nostalgia world or if that's just not the best one. Me and my brother played Monkey Ball Target so many times. I think it was Super Monkey Ball 2 where the series really shined and GameCube was just our system to carry around like a lunchbox and have a blast with our cousins. So maybe this can recapture some of that energy. No platforms are listed, but you have to imagine that Sega will be bringing it to Switch. It's kind of the home of Monkey Ball and it really would be a great fit. I just hope that they're able to find a way to make this game interesting in 2021. And I would expect to see an official announcement sometime around E3 now that we're only eight weeks away. Christmas in the summer for Switch and video games. It's coming soon. Cannot wait to share it with you once it happens and uh, hopefully we'll be eating a little bit of that delicious yellow fruit. Also wanted to let you guys know that the March NPDs came out, which is the stats and the figures for video game sales, both software and hardware. And surprise, Nintendo Switch is still number one. Crushing it, killing it. Monster Hunter Rise had a great debut coming in at number two, and it is already the second best-selling Monster Hunter in terms of dollars to world in just its first month, in just a few weeks, which is incredible and awesome. That game is gonna be a mega hit on Nintendo Switch for many months to come. But what's even more interesting is that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is climbing the ranks once again. How is this game still so strong? And I almost wanna tell you like, stop buying it so I can get my Mario Kart 9. Cause the common logic says that as long as MK8 Deluxe is in the top 10, the top 10? That game came out like seven years ago four years ago on Switch and it's still top 10. It doesn't bode well, maybe for a Mario Kart 9 or maybe Nintendo just wants to capitalize, but um, I am still shocked that this game sells so well despite all the new stuff. It's incredible. Animal Crossing New Horizons also was up there and that brings us perfectly to our big story of the day, which I find fascinating. It's a new collab with Animal Crossing and it's one that really generates the energy that we saw early on when this game launched last March. So Uniqlo, a really cool clothing company, I 
fell in love with them when I moved to Florida because there was a big Uniqlo store at Disney Springs and I got a lot of shirts bearing Mickey Mouse, Mike Wazowski, and they do a lot of video game collabs. So it's fitting that they're doing an Animal Crossing collab, but what makes this one unique is that they're having an in-game store on their island so you can see and try on the clothes before they come out. I think this is brilliant. I love this idea, chef's kiss. We've seen it before with some designer labels, but this is the first direct correlation where like the clothing that you can buy is going to be shown first in the game. Now on April 29th, the Uniqlo Island will open up its shop and you can see all 22 new designs and they're spread across men's, women's, kids, baby. They even got some towels and some bags. It looks really sick. Although I will say this collection is absolutely the hottest for the girls and for the children. They got a lot of tie dye, pinks, purples, nice greens, a lot of interesting designs and characters. And then the guy's designs are like a shark, a quote from KK, and a weird black and white design catching a butterfly. Whereas like the girls, yo, you got this beautiful pink tie dye. You got the Able sisters lined up and looking lavish. Kids got green tie dye. They got the characters and the stars. It's really a remarkable set. And I'm just sad that I'm not a little bit smaller because I'd be buying all those kids shirts. Now it launches in game and in Japan on April 29th, it'll be coming stateside online and in stores on May 24th. So you've got nearly a full month to head over to Uniqlo's Island, check out the collection and see if you want to pick any up in May. I really love that they put a lot of new characters on this merch. So much AC merch is just stuck in the past or stuck with the tentpole characters, the Isabelles, the Nooks, the KKs. And here they're like, whoa, we got a Daisy May shirt even though it won't fit me. Oh my gosh, we got Celeste with the stars and Flick and CJ, even though it won't fit me. They do have some nice doll shirts, do love me, some Dodo action. And I kind of like the pocket tee with the tools and the DIY, that looks really nice. But this is one of the best looking Animal Crossing collaborations I've seen in terms of clothes. Like there's a lot of good stuff on Etsy, but officially, Nintendo kind of drops the bell bag when it comes to Animal Crossing merch, I feel. They don't do a lot. Like I got a pretty nice Dodo jacket that I can't wear because it's military green and you wouldn't see it on the green screen. But other than that, their clothes are a little bland. And like I said, they don't really focus on what makes New Horizons New Horizons, but this unique collection does from Uniqlo. Click the link in the description down below if you wanna see more and uh, hopefully you guys are excited about it. You guys know how much I love AC and how much I crazily love clothes. Like my closet is an erupting volcano, but as soon as I heard the news of new AC merch, I was jumping through the roof. Well guys and girls, that'll do it for another episode of GMM. We close out another week. We cleared episode 50 and I appreciate your support and love so very much. It was a pretty cool week with Nintendo Indie Direct, this new AC collab, and E3 is eight weeks away. So I'll give you a little stealth future prediction. Ubisoft announced their Ubisoft Forward Conference for E3 week. And I predict we're gonna see what's next from Team Davide. That is the devious genius who made Rabid Peach in Mario plus Rabbit it's Kingdom Battle. It's been four years. Okay, Davide, where you been? What you working on? It seems like their next game, if it is indeed for Switch, should be primed and ready to come out. And I think there's enough creativity in Mario plus Rabbids, plus four years more effort. They can make a really awesome sequel. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for E3, but sooner than that, Pokemon Snap, Mario Golf, and another week of Good Morning Mario. So I'll see you all back on Monday. Thanks for your support. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy out there. Stay smart, smash that like button. Let me know your take in the comments down below. And until next week, everybody, have a great weekend. Switch Force, out.